I'm uh, building an elevator. So this piece <clears throat> goes up here somewhere. Uh, it's gonna bridge the gap between the platform, the part that's gonna go up and down, and the, uh, the, the loft, because the, the elevator is going, it's going up there. So I'm gonna lift this into place to make sure I get this perfectly flush with, with the up there. Workbench stuck out too far. What? So? Ah, uh, uh. So yeah, apparently I forgot to hit record, and you missed the whole tacking it in place and me swinging it around and getting it back down again. I made a, a hilarious Harold Lloyd reference. Well, eh, you know what that means. I had 36 days on there. Now the key to this whole thing is this guy right here. This is a strut trolley. It's used in strut channel or unistrut, which is this stuff right here. Fits right inside. It's usually hung from the ceiling, but uh, I'm gonna mount it on this vertically. And that's what the platform is gonna travel up and down on. Hang on, let the uh, welding nerds finish typing first. Okay, yeah, I ground off the galvanized coating before welding this, so I wasn't breathing, you know, a lot of zinc fumes. And I still wore a respirator. Deadly zinc fumes.
Got to check for spiders. Yeah, that is straight. That is so straight it seemed Chumbawamba live as a headliner. So, as those of you who follow me over on Patreon already know, uh, the reason I'm building this is to gain better access to my loft. I uh, basically inherited this shop from my dad after he passed away, and uh, he and my brother built this loft to just serve as storage, and for years it has just been a place to keep all of my parents' hoardings. There's a tub full of jean pockets. Some full of jean pockets. And and some of my stuff. Look at that killer jacket with a sweater vest. <laughs> the scary Halloween. One Halloween, when I went to the school carnival, I was scared to go in the haunted house. So I did something else. I asked my dad if I could have some money. So he gave me some. Nachos, I said to the mouse at the counter. <laughs> I don't need to read any farther than that. <laughs> and I've been spending the last few months uh, going through it all and, and cleaning it up. 
And I did a video uh, some time ago about building a, uh, an alternating tread staircase to uh, get better access to the loft. I've never been so excited about stairs. Also known as the stairs of death, because according to YouTube, they are going to kill me. But those stairs have been instrumental in providing easy access up there without having to use a ladder. Uh, the problem is um, getting stuff up and down, anything uh, big or bulky is a problem. Uh, well, getting stuff down is relatively easy. Frankly, I could do without a Christmas tree. But getting a lot of things back up there can be a problem. So I'm building this electric lift to more safely transport things up and down so that I can turn this loft into functional storage for tools and materials. Oh, and by the way, if, if you want to find out how the scary Halloween ends, I'll, uh, I'll read it over on Patreon. Link in the description. <laughs> We have a beating heart. And that is not going anywhere. Of course, I am not the first person to build something like this. There are several videos here on YouTube of people building something similar. <laughs> For this situation, my needs are slightly different. Uh, see, what most people do logically is they attach the cable to the center back here. Um, thing is, I, I have to access this from the front down here, but from the back up there. And if I've got a cable in the middle, it'll just be big fat right in my way. So the way I've solved this is I'm going to run the cable <clears throat> through the frame from one side to the other and back up again. You know, I didn't know until just now whether this was going to work the way it was supposed to. Now, there's just one more thing i got to take care of. Uh, I want this to stop automatically when it reaches the top of the loft. 
the hoist has this uh, limit switch built in and there was a red disc on the cable that is supposed to trigger it. Of course, it was on the other end of the cable and I had to cut it off anyway because I couldn't fit it through the frame. I don't know what kind of plastic that was, but they should make spacecraft out of it. So all I have to do now is fabricate myself a custom stop. Just have to adjust this to the proper height and I should ride it. Should I ride it? I should ride it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mom seems a lot higher now. You know, growing up, I wasn't always tall enough to ride all the rides. Now I just build my own. Well, it works. But I think it's missing something. By the way, here's a little tip. If you want to figure out about how long it's taken me to do one of these projects, have a look at my beard at the beginning of the video and then again at the end. I've been working on this thing for three days. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you may as well overdo it. Just because it's practical doesn't mean you can't have fun with it. That's me putting the fun in functional. If you would like to build something similar to this of your own, I am going to be making plans available for download. They're not ready yet. I mean, I just finished building this thing. But if you follow the link down in the description, you can sign up to be notified when they're ready. Also, I usually do what's called a post-mortem video where I discuss some of the uh, you know finer details and the problems I had with each of these builds. That's going to be over on Patreon. You can follow the link down in the video description.